morning my dear kids how are you all i hope all of you are doing great we will start our day with a small prayer join your hands close your eyes thank you god for the word so sweet Thank you God for the birds that sing. Thank you God for the food we eat. Thank you God for everything. Thank you. Okay kids, let's do some warm up. Are you ready? Now let's start. All of you stand up, stand up. Yes. Hands down. Keep your hands straight. Rotate your wrist. Stop. Hands down. Keep your hands straight. Now anti clockwise. How to count it, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands down. Now, clap your hands. Stop. Again. Clap your hands. Stop. One more time. Clap your hands. Stop. Hands down. Hands straight. Hands down. Hands straight. Hands down. Now, rub your palm. Slowly, slowly, fast. And keep it on your face. Again. Rub your palms. Slowly. Slowly. Fast. Keep it on your face. Very good. Children, what is today's date? Say loudly. Today's date is 17, 8, 2000. 20. Today's date is 17, 8, 2020. What day is today? Today is Monday. Say it only. Today is Monday. What is the spelling of Monday? M O N D A Y Monday again M O N D A Y Monday Kids in our previous class we learned about masculine and feminine children Please tell me some examples of masculine. Yes. Father. Grandfather. Uncle. Brother. Man. Very good. Now tell me some examples of feminine gender. Mother. Grandmother. Auntie, sister, woman, wife. Very good. Today, we are going to learn about living things and not living things. We are going to learn about living things and 
non-living things. Children, we see many things around us. Some are living things, some are non-living things. So kids, we will start with living things. We will start with living things. Okay. Living things have life in them. Say loudly. Living things have life in them. Okay. Living things can eat. Say loudly. They can eat. All living things need food and water. Food and water. Food and water give them energy and help them to grow. Help them to grow. So, living things can grow. Living things can grow. Living things can breathe. See? Take a deep breath. Living things can breathe. They need air to breathe. They need air to breathe, right? Yes. Human beings and most animals breathe air through nose. Living things can move. See, we can move, right? Plants are also living things. But they do not move from one place to another place. But some parts of the plants move. Like a young sunflower plant turns towards the sun. Okay. Living things can move. Now, living things reproduce. All living things produce their young ones. So, children, living things can eat. Living things can grow. They can breathe. They can move. They can reproduce. Now, I will show you some examples of living things. Okay. Picture. Fishes. They can swim. Right? They can swim. They can breathe, eat, grow and reproduce. See the next picture. Birds. They can fly, eat, grow, breathe and reproduce. Okay. See the next picture. Insects. See? They can move, right? Yes. See the next picture. Humans. We can move, eat, breathe, grow, reproduce. Okay. Plants. See? Plants. Good. These are some examples for living things. Children, now what are non-living things? Non-living things don't have life in them. Okay? They don't have life in them. They do not grow. 
they do not move they do not breathe right okay see the examples of non living things table they can move right yes see the next picture door bag computer cup c u p cup brush rope umbrella car these are some of the examples of non living things okay now it's our activity time kids the activity is at page number 21 of our evs book okay write l for living things and n l for the non living things okay so kids what is the first picture it is a b what is it is it a living thing or non living thing yes it is a living thing so we will write here l l for l4 living thing see the next picture what is it it is a bag say loudly it is a bag bag is a non living thing so we will write here n l n l what is the third picture it is an umbrella umbrella is non living thing so we will write here n l okay now the rest of the pictures you mark it whether it is a living thing or non living thing and send it to your class teacher children i hope you understood what has been taught in today's video please complete the activity and send the picture to your class teacher